The Basics of Jing, an STC tutorial. Today, we're going to learn the basics of Jing. You can download Jing for free at techsmith.com, and once you've downloaded it, you'll have a little sun that shows up on your screen. Initially, it's probably going to be right here in the middle, but I've moved mine over here. And once you mouse over it, you have three options. One looks like two gears. This is your more option. Clicking on this, you'll see a big yellow circle in the middle of your, middle of your screen. And you have the option to exit Jing altogether. The help option, if you don't know something, you can send feedback. And one option is your preferences, has the two gears again. And with this, you can change some of your settings. Like you can even hide the sun on your desktop if you don't want it. And when you're all done, you can click finish, this check mark. Going back up here, you have an option that looks like two pictures. This is your history. Once you've captured images or captured videos, they'll be saved here once you save them. You can access them here. Going back to the sun, the last option looks like crosshairs, and this is how you capture. It'll let, let you have crosshairs on your screen, and this allows you to click and drag and select what window you want to capture. Now, down here, you have the option to capture it as an image, and it's a still image or you can choose to capture it as a video and you want to record on it. You can redo your selection if you don't want the selection you've chosen. And if you don't want it all together, you can choose cancel. I'm going to choose capture image. Now, you have your image and down here you can choose what to name it. You also have some cool options right here. You can create arrows to point to certain things in your image. You click on it, create an arrow, and over here as well, you have the ability to change what color those arrows are with tool color. I'll just make it green. You can insert text with a T, create a text box, and type in whatever text you want. You can resize this box. And again, use tool color to change the color if you want. You can insert frames around different things in your image.